everybody. If you're watching this video, it's because you've just received your brand new AirSense 10 device by ResMed. This is personally my favorite CPAP on the market just because of how quick it is on the clinical end and how user-friendly it is for the clients. Now, before we get too excited, let's go ahead and actually set this device up. My name is Marina and I'm one of the respiratory therapists at Lofta. We're gonna go ahead and show you all the ins and outs of this device. Let's get started. All right, now the very first step is to get your little new baby out of its travel bag that will be included in your purchase. Now, just so that you're aware, this is a medical device, so it's not considered a carry-on. You can go ahead and bring this onto your flights and it won't count towards your uh, personal item as well. There's this little luggage tag that we're gonna include for you because we love you, we care about you, and we want you to be traveling super safely. All right, first things first, we're gonna go ahead and put this power cord together. And we're just gonna slap it together like so, make sure that there's a nice and tight connection there. <laughs> little table, little table. And then we're going to insert it into the back of your unit. And as soon as you insert it fully, you should see your screen light up and say ResMed on the front. Here is your air filter on your device. It will come preloaded with one, and you should be changing this out on a monthly basis. Now, the next thing that we have is our water reservoir. Sometimes we call it a uh, water chamber, humidifier, whatever, whatever works for you. But we're gonna go ahead and fill it up with distilled water nightly to the maximum fill line. And we do recommend dumping out the water in the morning, any excess water, just so that way you're not accumulating any unnecessary bacteria. ResMed does want you to go ahead and fill this with distilled water. Now, when you insert it, you should hear it click into place and you should feel it fully inserted. If you can wiggle it around, it's not in all the way. Now, if you order the climate line heated tubing, this is going to be very specifically inserted into the back of your unit. There's this tiny little electrical chip that's gonna go in the back of the device into the air outlet. And that way the device will know that you have a heated tubing connected. And it should also click into place. You should see the words climate line air connected populate on your screen. It does have a little swivel so that way <laughs> So that way you can have your device on either side of your bed without having issues with the tubing kind of bouncing all over the place. The Climate Line heated tubing is going to be a good option in the event that you like to sleep in a really cool room, which we recommend for sleep hygiene purposes. Um, but in the event that you get any sort of water buildup, which we call rain out, inside of your mask or your tubing, this little guy here does have that heated tubing option and you can adjust the tubing temperature in your menus to get rid of that water buildup. For more on rain out, check out this video and I will actually go over all the ways that you can prevent rain out and just a little bit more education on how you can make those adjustments. We work really hard to put these videos together. So if you are enjoying what you're seeing, go ahead and like it, subscribe to our channel, and please let us know if there's anything that we can do to make these videos more informative or more to your liking. Now, this is your slimline tubing, very different in color. It's going to be pretty clear or white, and then the ends will actually be completely, they're exactly the same. So it doesn't matter which side you put your mask on or which side you put into the device, but it actually just inserts into the back of the unit. Without an adapter, it won't swivel, so just keep that in mind. If you didn't get the heated tubing the first time around, you shouldn't worry about it. Every six months, we do recommend you change out your tubing regardless. So maybe next time around, you can go ahead and get the heated version. Now for the other end of your tubing, you're gonna go ahead and just simply connect it to your mask like so. For this demonstration, we're using the ResMed AirFit F20 full face mask, which is our top selling full face mask on the entire website. Before we move on, I just wanna mention that at this point, there's no other settings you need to worry about. Our team has already pre-calibrated your settings according to your prescription. And if you're a Lofty Care member, a respiratory therapist like myself can go ahead and make adjustments for clinical or comfort indications. Okay, now to get therapy started at night, 
all you're gonna do is you're actually gonna go ahead and just put the mask on and breathe into it. There's a feature called Smart Start. So as soon as the device senses that you're breathing, it'll automatically power on. You might need to take some pretty deep breaths in the event that your breaths are kind of shallow and not allowing this function to work. At the same time, that's also the way that we're going to stop the therapy. Once you remove your mask at night, if you keep it face up so there's no obstructions, the device will automatically power down. If you're waking up in the middle of the night and you don't want to disrupt your bed partner with the sound of whooshing air until this actually turns off within one to three minutes, you'll use the power button to go ahead and start and stop your therapy. We do have a feature pre-calibrated onto your device called auto ramp. And ramp is essentially going to be where the pressures start low and once you actually fall asleep, they'll increase and adjust through to your automatic or fixed CPAP pressures throughout the night. So when, unless your physician has actually prescribed that you don't have your ramp on, you will always have this feature so you're not getting overwhelmed by therapy. If you're a Loftacare member, you can actually let us know if you feel like you're not getting enough air and we can go ahead and make that adjustment to adjust the ramp or your starting pressure for you. As a respiratory therapist, I do have to do my job and kind of give you expectations on CPAP therapy the first night and maybe even the first few weeks. I absolutely recommend that you're getting adjusted by creating some sort of distraction at night. So once you put your mask on, I don't want you to just lay down and close your eyes and expect that sleep is going to come as easily as it might have before. In the beginning, you are getting adjusted to a mask on your face, pressure's blowing down the airway. So I usually recommend reading a book, re listening to an audiobook. I don't condone going on your phone or watching TV before bed, but if it's a must, then go for it. The more that you focus on your breath, the more, I guess, present it's going to feel. Now, if you want more tips and tricks on exactly what to expect your first night, we do have this video over here that you can click on that guides you through expectations on your first few nights of therapy. Now, to be completely transparent, usually the clients that I work with take about one to three months to get completely acclimated to therapy. That means that they're sleeping throughout the entire night without any interruptions that are from their device or their mask. So just keep that in mind. Your first few weeks, anywhere from two to four hours, I would consider as like a huge win. Um, I don't expect people to be going to bed and sleeping throughout the entire night in the very beginning. So just an expectation there. In the event that you wake up, you're kind of irritated with your mask, just go ahead and turn it off completely. So that way you're not fidgeting around with the mask, getting frustrated and wanting to throw it in the trash. <laughs> So if you made it to the end of this video, we do have a special surprise for you. You can get 20% off of your next mask. All you have to do is enter in the code NARINA at checkout. Yes, that is wordy, N-A-R-I-N-A, -A, not to be mistaken for Narnia. Okay, everybody, that's all that you need to get started with your machine, so go ahead and give it a go. If you have any questions, please, 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 call us, chat us, or email us. And 99.9999999% of the time, we're going to have an answer for you. Thanks so much for watching. Feel free again to like and subscribe if you're enjoying this content. Take care, bye. Ooh, these thumbs, hitchhiker thumbs, they say. People used to make fun of me, actually. Sorry. <laughs>